welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part 4 video so let's jump right into it now according to breakingtravelnews.com the eight fantastic travel facts again it's some brilliant news some not so good news but anyway i'll fire away with the first fact uh, which is number one iata seeks to reassure passengers after the onboard covid19 transit mission risks the international air transport association has sought to demonstrate the law incident of in-flight covid19 transmission with an updated tally of published cases so again it's really good news that they have got an updated tally of published cases of COVID-19 um, and obviously they are able to tell you the risks and um, so again which is again really good news so moving on number two is air canada raises for um fund through boeing 737 max sale so the airline is basically set selling the or has sold the 737 max airplane that's uh, the latest airline news air canada has completed the sale and lease back transactions for three boeing 737 max 8 aircrafts with jackson square aviation with a further six headed to Avlon Aerospace Leasing so they've what they've done is sold three of the 737 maxes and leased them out to Avlon excuse my pronunciation Aerospace Leasing so moving on to number three oh rookie to head a large northern europe division at a core ho which is the latest hotel news as part of the recently announced organization reset of a core so again i really hope he does well for the um hotel organization Duncan O'Rourke has been promoted to Chief Executive for the Extended North Europe Division so uh, well done to Duncan O'Rourke um, for getting a fabulous promotion so I hope again he does really well in his position fingers crossed now number four Red Sea Development signs a brand new king abdul Ez university partnership so that's really good news uh, for red sea development and the king abdul aziz excuse my pronunciation university partnership and um, again um number five sabu air is seeking US um, 50 
well, 500 million dollars in fresh capital. So I really hope they get it. Um, so they can obviously continue that airline. And number six, Genting and Royal Caribbean lead the return of the Singapore cruise sector. So that's really good news for Singapore cruise sector and Genting and Royal Caribbean. Really hope um, the best of luck. And I hope it goes as well as possible with more passengers deciding that they would like to take a cruise. And number seven, Jamaica Minister of Tourism calls for digital overhaul of sector. That's the latest travel event so I really hope that goes as well as possible for Jamaica and the event sector there fingers crossed and last but not least Bockings are open for Carnival Celebration 2022 debut uh, so that's another bit of uh, cruise news so yay it's open so you can now book a celebration cruise for 2022 uh, whether it's a birthday anniversary just an ordinary holiday so yes it things are uh, again slowly getting back to normal so um in the travel industry worldwide so Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in my next video which is my travel updates video both on my lifestyle and travel channel and it's going to be Sunday at 6pm so please keep watching and if you haven't subscribed it's the red and white subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell i upload at least between three to six times a week um but usually between three to five times a week and depending on my work schedule i'm on holiday this week from work yay <laughs> so Anyway, please keep watching. Everybody, please stay safe. Um, I love you all. You all mean the world to me, subscribers and viewers. And I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.